What's up dudes and dudes to the air and my name's Seth and we are finally back again for some more Maple Story 2. How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. If you haven't been tuning in with my channel and stuff like that and you're just interested in the series, needless to say, uh, my computer ended up uh, exploding, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it took me quite a while to uh, get everything like reinstalled and junk like that. So that's why there was a little bit of delay on the series. Now, one other thing that I did actually want to do a couple episodes ago before I ended up running into these technical difficulties uh, is read a bunch of mail because I got lots of tips from a person called Kane, and these are pretty old messages, but I want to go through them with all of you, just as kind of, I'm learning, and uh, hopefully some of you at home are going through the learning process with me. Now, first of all, he actually gave me the tip right away to respond to a person. Of course, it's just standard. This is the person's name, subject line, and then the message itself, and then you just send it to them. Uh, but then he has a bunch of other really good tips as well, but before we end up doing any of that, I want to catch this magic hat. Let's do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing fantastic, folks, and again, sorry the fact that this series, uh, took a little bit of a hiatus for a bit. Oh boy. Uh, but we are back and hopefully gonna be able to continue everything as if nothing happened. Might take a little while before I can actually get things back 100%. Uh, so it might be that there'll be like a missing episode or two within like a week or something, right? Bloop! What did we end up doing? Did we just get the XP and coins? <laughs> I think so. That's pretty cool. Uh, another thing, too, is that very, very soon we're probably going to end up playing and messing around with some other uh, character types just because I want to. But uh, let's get to some of the mail today. So I'm going to kind of skim through most of this and kind of pick the pieces that I deem as important enough to kind of share with all of you. So this one in general is very, very concise and very to the point. Uh, you have to be level 50 or more to play most of the dungeons in the game, which I'm guessing are these dark portals that keep showing up uh, all over the map and stuff like that. You can reach level 50 very easily by following epic quests, which are signified by the yellow that is on these quests. Unfortunately, I don't know how to actually complete these. <laughs> and so I don't know if we'll ever get to actually uh, finish all these quests and stuff like that. Uh, blue quests are sub quests as well. So he also says that when we're changing all of our skills and stuff like that and applying a level to it it's just gonna help the percentage of like the damage numbers and stuff like that and to level it up of course it requires certain items that we haven't actually come across as uh, very often I think it's probably from grinding dungeons some skills max out at level 5 while others max out at level 10 and when the equipment uh, like gear that we end up finding reaches level 20 uh, you can grind them like grind the gear because I guess our gear must be leveling or something I'm not exactly sure uh, but it seems like once we end up getting gear to level 20 we can end up grinding some black item uh, that is like the equivalent to flux and trove where we actually use that to forge up equipment uh, until 15 15 is the highest uh, and you will be able to in trade um, or try to enchant it uh, more than nine times and there is a possibility to brick down your weapon so that the main uh, Loon blade our character uh, the main stat that we're going for is STA which I'm guessing is stamina or something Equipment quality is normal white is uh, garbage green is rare blue is elite and excellent is purple legendary is yellow Normally people use more than elite. Okay. These are sent to your mail and looks like a coin Okay, this is also being used for that mini dice game, uh, which gives you some stuff like por uh, transportation for the helicopter and stuff, equipment boxes and junk like that. Uh, same as we ended up exploring most of those. This will be available until the 19th with the icon in the top right, or the 29th, I mean. Oh, okay. Um, Maple Story 2 will give you that amount of coins after that time is gone. 
Uh, and just under there is the icon that you click to go to the event area. Yeah, so we click this to go to the event area, and I guess that this lottery event thing where we're getting these mushroom coins must be a temporary thing until the end of the month. Additionally, the full ability system is going to be available to us once we end up getting to level 50. Uh, but for cash shop system, you can buy Marut. Uh, I don't know if this is the correct name he's saying. Uh, and you enter this into the market to buy some skin items and other useful stuff stuff. You can actually change Marut to Miso, which I'm guessing is uh, the in-game currency by using the black market. Normal price now is 550 Marut equals 10 million Miso. <laughs> so that makes this game is 100% pay to win. We're killing an enemy in the background, by the way. 100% pay to win because you can actually, I I'm agreeing with this system, no less, where you can actually spend real money uh, to get in-game currency, and that is actually fantastic. Screw the middleman. Screw the black market. Oh, never mind. Oh, my bad. He's actually advertising. Uh, I wonder if he's advertising an in-game black market or exterior websites black market, which those I cannot condone, uh, you know, because it's not, you know, it's against the TOS violation and stuff like that. So I, I do not condone that. If he is, however, talking about an in-game way of exchanging uh, cash shop money for the in-game currency, that would be very forward thinking of the devs to end up just going that route. But yeah, I kind of may have messed up there, folks. So excuse me if it's not actually like that. I don't really know the system because it's not in English. And then for some reason, all of these tips seem to be all the exact same message five times over. I think that's because he was trying to spam me uh, with these messages while I was, but didn't realize I was recording, so I couldn't reply to it. Oh my. This game is also under Nexon, so it has some unboxing systems to it. In Marut, which is the uh, cash shop currency, there are two types of boxes, one for a skin and another for in-game stuff, such as 11 enchanted scrolls, uh, broken, uh, fixing broken equipment, Sometimes, usually in the holidays, they sell some new type of random boxes in the real money. Okay, so that's a good system. So, yeah, maybe he was legit talking about external black market websites <laughs> for exchanging the currency. So, my bad about that one. Uh, there's also other equipment box once you reach level 50. And from any other system, blah, 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 blah. Maple Story 2 is very much focused on level 50. That's when you get most uh, of the game systems available, including PvP. Uh, then there... After level 50, there is music, fishing, housing, guild P the guild and PvP system. I mean, I would love to get into all that stuff, but honestly speaking, I don't know, uh, Kane, if you're watching this, I don't know how far I'm going to take this series, and I'm saying this in general to all of you folks at home, because with it being a Korean server, I'm not personally as invested in it as I'm going to be when the North American servers come out. When the North American servers come out, you can bet that I'm going to be going crazy with this game. And really, like, I, I already really enjoy the game the way it is right now. The only reason I even jumped onto the Korean servers is because I couldn't wait for the American servers anymore. Uh, yeah, Kane, as well, if you are still watching this series, I, I'm not against people giving me free stuff but don't give more than you're comfortable with. I don't want you to end up breaking your bank just so that you can give me stuff for the videos because like I said, I'm not 110% into, uh, like I I'm not investing all of my time and effort into the Korean server. So keep that in mind, buddy. And anybody else that is willing to actually donate stuff to me, Eventually, we're gonna move to the North American server, so don't give me anything that you're not comfortable with losing permanently, because, uh, I mean, unless there's an easy way that I could just mail that back to you once we end up quitting the Korean servers and swapping over to the American, right? I don't know. Uh, where is the map to? I'm actually gonna have to relearn a lot of my buttons here. Um, let's take a peek. So we were going, oh boy, that's a lot of side quests that we could end up completing. Jiminy Crockett. Um, but we're gonna end up exploring and going around this area because right now, my main priority, the biggest thing that I want to end up doing in this series is just exploring the world. Now, I know that we're going to be getting most of our experience from uh, completing the main quest and stuff like that, as Kane was saying. 
It'll take us all the way up to level 50, which is wonderful. But I, I, I don't, I don't know what we're, what are the main quests that were are on the right side of our screen right now? Like, what are they telling me to do? I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 kill me, seriously. Um, but otherwise, that's the other thing too, folks. It's like I keep saying too. This may or may not end up being the last episode before we end up going to a different character type and kind of exploring uh, that aspect of the game. Because that's the thing is, right now I consider this kind of a, a tutorial, kind of familiarizing. Oh, look at that, so cute! Oh, this guy, look at him. He's like a little soldier. I love him, dude. Oh man. Madam, you have beautiful children. They are amazingly awesome. I'm going to take a screenshot of you if that press the space button thing goes away and gets out of my face. There, geez louise. Beautiful, beautiful game, seriously. So what was it trying to tell us to press space on? I don't know what you're saying, crazy lady. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna uh, definitely explore and mess around with the different characters in the game. I would love to end up doing that. I, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy's level 17. Wasn't there an icon that I had on in my options that showed the level of these characters? Otherwise, they're starting to get a little bit more dangerous, if you can even say that. Oh, look, they're cute, they deserve death. I'll die. What the, what button did I press? No! Get out of my way! Okay, where was escape? There it was. Okay, jeez louise, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I, I ended up bringing up our keyboard, which we mess around with, even though the music is as silent as my soul. Give me that delicious meat. But yeah, so we're, we're mostly going to be focusing ooh, on exploring the world. Uh, and then kind of mess around with the other classes and stuff like that and kind of kind of try to keep things as interesting as possible for me as long as possible. What is all of this? There, there's a part in this area that's actually pointing us to something as well. And these enemies are starting to get a little bit, they're getting a little bit stronger here. What was through this zone? We can't look into this map. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, at least it seems to be something unless... Yeah, we may or may not end up getting stuck over here, though. Ooh, you're a real weird-looking enemy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! It's because they're level 22, they're way too powerful. Okay, so that's something that hasn't changed uh, in this version of Maple Story. Over the other one, where, where's the potions? Where's the potions? Where's the potions? Where's the button for the potions? Where's the button for the potions? There we go. We can't spam them, though. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, so... That's something I remember from Maple Story 1 is uh, if you're not a high enough level, you're not gonna touch the enemy. Like straight up, you are just going to end up dead. So those enemies were level 22, which I guess is just 22 levels too powerful for us. And so it was just miss, 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 and we wouldn't have been able to touch them uh, no matter how good we were, you know? <laughs> Oh my goodness, why can't we climb? There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Die, you weirdos! You're beautiful, but die. Oh man, I've been reading lots of um, uh, a manga called 20, uh, Eye Shield 21, which is actually a football manga. If you haven't checked it out, it's actually a really good read, very intense. Uh, same as like a Jimmy no Ippo and any other manga that focuses on a sport, right? And I keep on thinking about the Devil Bat Ghost every time I teleport now uh, and do our little dash attack. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's a little bit of a thing that only manga nuts are going to be able to understand. We're starting to get into areas that are are way too powerful for us though and that's the thing too is these types of games stop me if I'm wrong here if uh, somebody's watching the series and understands more about this game and is speaks Korean but um, usually with these games are very quest oriented and because of that you know we're not gonna get that much experience from grinding enemies especially compared to completing quest lines and stuff like that right I'm just naturally assuming that's how it is. I did it again! No! Die, weird duck! What is it? It deserves death. It's beautiful. Jeez Louise. <laughs> it's like Psyduck or something. He's so cute and adorable. Die. But yeah, um, 
Is this the same as the other Maple Story, where we only end up getting the bulk of our experience from completing dungeons, and then eventually, once we end up getting, or not dungeons, quests, I mean, quests, and then once we end up getting most of our main quests out of the way, we start getting less and less and less experience. Kappas! And they're skin colored. Oh, actually, I think that's supposed to be baby ducks, but they look like Kappas, don't they? What is all that? Is that us getting crit damage or something? But yeah, needless to say, uh, I think it's the same as any other MMO where we're gonna be getting, uh, you know, the most of our experience is gonna be gotten through the main quest system. And then we get less and less experience from quests or just require more and more experience and then eventually have to grind like crazy on normal mobs just because, uh, you know, the game's not really designed for us to be grinding on normal trash mobs. And especially like our friend Kane said, the game really wants us to get to level 50 and I guess kind of considers the rest of the game <laughs> a tutorial up to this point. Oh my goodness gracious, those turtles are beautiful, but they would destroy my face. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of what I mean. We're, we're getting to the point of no return here, folks, where I personally don't really know what we're supposed to be doing as far as our main quest is concerned. Uh, I want to also see, so this enemy's level 19, and we got 1% experience off of him. Now, I want to find out uh, I just want to experiment. Hopefully in today's episode, we'll find some other creature. I know we're kind of almost on time here, but I want to experiment. Ooh, chest and find out whether or not we get more experience. <laughs> okay, that's right, because water blocks aren't actually water. It's a block that just makes our character animate differently. Um, but I want to see, are we going to get more experience for enemies that are closer to our level rather than trying to kill enemies that are super duper strong? What are these guys? So these guys are level 14. We got one experience off the enemy that was nine level 19, and we're getting like... Point ten experience off of <laughs> these enemies. Yeah, so this is kind of what I mean here, folks, where uh, we might end up coming to a little bit of a standstill. Uh, actually, I'm just going to say it straight. Next episode, we're definitely going to experiment with uh, one of the other classes. And then, honestly speaking, I don't know what's going to end up happening once we get to that point in the game because I don't really know what else to do as far as the main quest is concerned, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing, is we're kind of, we, we've kind of been coming to this point for quite some time, and I know that's kind of already been, uh, like, I've, I've kind of already reflected that and said that a lot in the series, but I just want to reiterate that as I don't understand the main quest, uh, you know, we're gonna end up, we, we were gonna end up coming to this point eventually where we just can't progress, you know, unless I end up knowing where we're supposed to end up going. And even right now, like we, you know, we can't explore any more of the map because now it's starting to get too powerful for us. And uh, we could go and grind a character, like grind that area where the enemies give us one experience each. Yeah, we could grind that for sure <laughs> if we if we really wanted to <laughs> and uh, get our hands on one extra level and then be level 18. But for what? So that we could maybe go into one extra area? JK, we wouldn't. We would still be grinding the level 19 enemies until kingdom come. And uh, yeah, so maybe I'll end up looking up like, that's the thing is, uh, I, I definitely want to take a little bit of a break from our main character here, and I want to experiment with the other characters too, because I'm not exactly sure if I'm 100% committed to playing this guy. So what we're going to do in the next episode, because yeah, we're on time, we'll call it here, and thanks for watching. But what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to swap over to the mage character, who's the other starting character. Like, there's the starting characters are the rune blader and the magic user. And then after that, after, uh, after I kind of get tired of the mage character, which may end up being a while, I don't know. I'm not 100% committed to using the rune blader as our main. And I would rather use the Korean server and experimenting and stuff like that to find out what character I actually want to main once this comes out on North America and we're a bit more 
more serious about the game, right? And then I could end up playing with a lot of you because I know that as it stands right now, it's actually very difficult to get onto the Korean servers. And unfortunately, it's a little bit sneaky. So uh, that's the biggest reason I mentioned this in the first episode. That's the reason I haven't talked about how you actually get onto the Korean server because needless to say, you have to... Uh, and uh, we're, we're going to end up like trying the other character out and then once we end up swapping over to the beginner character like the start uh, he's actually called like the beginner or the something like that i don't exactly know right but oh this character looks beautiful by the way it looks like a doll i love that mace but that's the thing is once we swap to that character that one actually has all of the sub paths so that's where i'm gonna start reading on the wiki it's beautiful i want mounts that's where I'm going to start reading on the wiki how to actually progress and start progressing like with the main quest and stuff like that. And I want to try all the characters out before we commit to something and trying to get as far as we can into the main server. Uh, and anyways, I I'm rambling. Another beautiful dragon. I want it. I know I'm rambling, folks, and I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I, I kind of wanted to let you all know that dog is delicious. <laughs> I, I wanted to let you all know in today's episode and cover as much information as possible because of what ended up happening with my computer and it's just been a while since we started the series. But anyway, I, whatever. Thanks for watching. Check out the next episode for a new class that we're going to be experimenting with. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy the series at this point and uh, as it continues to develop. And again, Kane, if you're watching, only give me stuff that you want to give me. But honestly speaking, I don't even know how to spend the money even if you end up giving it to me. So I, I don't know. Think about that before you do it. Thanks for watching, though, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, sign or, and stay epic.